A deepening mystery in Hong Kong sounds like the plot of a political thriller, but it's all too real. Five people have vanished since October. All of them are connected to a publishing company and a bookstore that sells books critical of communist China's leaders. Seth Jones is in Hong Kong, where concern is growing that basic rights are being, well, taken away. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Since Hong Kong was handed over from British to Chinese rule back in 1997, it has retained some of its autonomy, notably its own legal system and freedom of speech. But now with the case of those missing booksellers and word of an investigation on the mainland, some worry those freedoms may be under threat. Sandwiched between a pharmacy and a nail salon and up a cramped stairwell is Causeway Bay Books, which was closed today. In the hallway, some of the gossipy, salacious titles it was known for, criticizing China's leaders. This book talks about Madame Peng Liuyuan's private life. She's China's first lady. This title predicts the downfall of China's president, Xi Jinping. But now the story of this bookstore itself is harder to believe, since five men tied to it have disappeared. The most recent, Li Bo, was expected home for dinner December 30th, but never showed. Days later, this faxed letter purportedly from Li said, due to some urgent matters, I have made my own way to the mainland. It might take a bit of time. Protesters carrying photos of the missing booksellers have demanded answers. There was no record of Lee crossing the Hong Kong border. Why is the case of this missing bookseller so important? Well, I think it concerns the basic security and safety of Hong Kong people. Hong Kong legislator Albert Ho worries Chinese authorities or their agents may have illegally taken Lee into the mainland. We are concerned about an incident of political kidnap. You're calling this a political kidnapping? Must be. The circumstantial evidence have driven us to an irresistible conclusion. China's government-linked Global Times newspaper wrote Li was not taken away by Chinese mainland police officers, but was critical of the bookstore, calling it a source of political rumors and evil influence. This seems like an attack on freedom of the press. Amnesty International's William Ni nee notes China does not have jurisdiction to come to Hong Kong America and detain someone. Terrible. In China right now, this type of thing is completely normal. What's common in mainland China is not common in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is, has a different system, and that's why people are so alarmed in this case. It is widely known that mainlanders come to Hong Kong to buy books, and the fear here is that mainland authorities are now reaching into Hong Kong's affairs. We contacted officials both here and in Beijing, but we're not able to get any more answers as to where Li Bo may be. Nora? Great reporting, and that really is the main point that this is now extending to, to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Very